a radial engine that was taken from a Navy airplane that flew for many hours. It was then cut through the cylinders to expose its working parts and is now driven slowly by a hidden electric motor. Some of the engine's parts are labeled on photograph A in front of you. The nine cylinders are arranged in a circle or radially around the crankshaft. Each cylinder is cooled in flight by exposing it to the air rushing by. Note the pins around the cylinders for increased cooling surface. Each cylinder can be removed individually for service without disturbing the rest of the engine. This is one of the most important features of a radial engine. That big chrome part rotating in the center is a counterweight which keeps everything turning smoothly. We color-coded the inside of our engine to show some of its functional areas. These are labeled in photograph B. The air and gasoline mixture enters the cylinders during the intake stroke through the blue-colored areas. The mixture is next compressed by the piston and ignited by the spark plugs. Combustion takes place in the red-colored chamber, heating and expanding the gas mixture and driving the piston toward the center of the engine. This is the power stroke. On the return stroke, the piston forces the exhaust gases out of the cylinder through the orange-colored exhaust port. The green areas show the valve lubrication passages. The basic radial engine design was developed after World War I as a simple, compact, highly reliable, low-maintenance engine. Subsequently, radial engines proved so successful that they were used in many different kinds of aircraft. For instance, during the 1930s, 90% of all American-built transport aircraft used engines similar to this one. Liquid-cooled inline engines, as shown in photograph C, competed with radial engines for a time. They were favored for high-altitude operations because of their improved cooling characteristics. As the requirements for power increased, huge multi-bank radial engines were developed, like the one shown in photograph D. Today, in the midst of the jet age, the radial air-cooled engine still powers many airplanes that we see flying. Smaller air-cooled engines, somewhat different in appearance and design to this one, also power most of the small aircraft being produced. The air-cooled radial engine, once the workhorse of the sky, now a beautiful illustration of technology in motion. Yeah. Uh...